From the tallest of the piles of the dead Turn it came down a, little a bit. monster. It burst forth from the dead like a great fish from the sea. Can I hear it good? Its bellow was so evil, it could not possibly come from a godly creature. Hello, everybody. I'm the Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Keter Class Object SCP-4715. SCP-4715 okay. is a large, six-legged carnivorous... First of all, bro, what is that, bro? That look like... <laughs> That looked like if Pickle Rick went wrong, bro. That's an abomination. You literally threw every animal together and said, boom, there you go. And my boy got rabies and, and herpes on his lips, bro. What is that? He's a walking, talking HIV, bro. Oh, my God, dog. Hell no, nah, dog. It's mammal with chimeric morphology standing at a minimum height. Oh, so everything I just said, they referenced it as chimeric morphology. Okay. Okay, for sure, for sure. Of 5.2 meters and weighing 2,300 kilograms. Genetic analysis has been inconsistent, showing traces of modern wildlife, as well as Pleistocene era and Anomalous animals. It is a robust frame. And what is that, bro? If I see that, I'm just gonna be like, bro, you got it, bro. That This is, you know, you win. I'm not fighting back, bro. Just hurry up and get it over with, because I'm not even trying to look at you for no more than five seconds, bro. Make it quick, make it quick. Make, 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 it, make it quick, make it quick, make it quick. A vaguely feline skull with a carnivorous dental structure stout muzzle forward set eyes and a pair of large back bro because but bro, bro, what i'm tripping on is like bro what even is that on the side of his face bro hold on scp four four seven one five hold on hold on hold on i went back oh i went forward oh i'm tripping hold on i'm tripping i'm tripping hold up hold up let me where we at we was right there okay scp four seven one five all right scp one wait 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 i'm tripping four seven one five i'm trying to see what this look like in like actual pictures what, what do they got in actual pictures they, oh, they only got like, okay. Okay, well, it, well, see, it looks way better right here. So what is the rubber tripping on? Because it looks, okay, if this is it, this right here is hard. This is hard. If this is what it is, this is hard. Like, I'm, this is, this is a, a beast I'm trying to tame. You know what I mean? But, 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 but this, this is, this, no, sir. No, sir, not even a little bit. No, but th this is hard. This is hard. All right, all right. Muzzle, forward set eyes, and a pair of large, backward-swept horns. Its primary forelimbs are long and end in pro-proportionately large hands. It has seven fingers, and each finger has a large semi-retractable claw. You said what's up with the green screen on my hair? Bro, I'm telling you, bro, I'm still in beta. I'm still in beta. Y'all need to chill on me, bro. Bro, I'm gonna get my green screen better. Like, I just need better. It's, it's really the lighting. That's all it is. It's just the lighting. Y'all bear with me, bro. I'm just trying to get some reactions on the channel for everybody that's been begging them, everybody been DMing me, so relax, bro. Relax. Its secondary forelimbs are multi-jointed and significantly longer, terminating in three heavily clawed fingers. Its hind legs appear... Appreciate the follow. ...and its tail is long and muscular, acting like a tripod for balance when standing on its hind legs. Acting like a tripod, bro. Fuck out of here. Actually, let me make myself a little smaller. Let me make myself a little smaller. Appreciate the follow. I'm... It's like it was it was flickering. That's probably because like the white light bouncing off. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. 4715 is extremely aggressive and has been observed attempting to attack most humans it has encountered. However, it has never been observed hunting or pursuing other organisms. Appreciate the follow. Hey, bro. Hey, hey bro. My, my, my guy chill. You know, he's not he's not too dangerous. You know, not not to be able to get some sun. Gazer. Gazer. <laughs> Appreciate the follow, bro. Oh my god. If you know, you know. Hey, what is that little black cat? He really just chilling. That's really a scribble. Larger animals will avoid 4 7. Fuck, fuck, my nigga got instant transmission. Go, bro. Observed hunting or pursuing other organisms. Larger animals. What, 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 what? Bro, what, what is that? A deity? My man said he a god from Dragon Ball Z. Okay. God destruction. All right. Animals will avoid 4 7 1 5, instinctively fleeing from its scent. 4715 displays a level of intelligence roughly on par with that of a chimpanzee. Oh, no. Nah. And displays an aptitude for the fashioning and usage of tools as weapons. 4715 is also he said he <laughs> intuitive. It can accurately read the emotional and mental state of human beings around it. No. If 4715 perceives a subject intending to harm another, including itself, it will rapidly gain mass proportional to the number of such subjects. 
the most egregious breach saw 4715 reach a height of approximately 24 meters and a weight approaching an estimated 56,000 kilograms. I don't gotta look that up to know that's big. That's real big. Historic artifacts suggest the potential to grow larger given sufficient exposure to situations. Power Rangers? Conflict. Okay. This effect reverses quickly as soon as it can no longer sense the harmful intentions of others. Oh, wow. And it radiates intense heat as its mass decreases. Oh, no. 4715 has been observed attempting to draw uninvolved individuals into states of conflict just to increase its biomass. Mm, it often displays okay. fascination and attraction towards states of conflict between human beings. <laughs> it's a titan. 4715 has proven highly resistant to most forms of conventional weaponry and physical trauma. <laughs> All right, Saitama. It's highly resistant to most forms of conventional weaponry and physical trauma. It possesses reasonably consistent internal systems, and testing has shown that it does not require any form of nutrition to survive. It is resistant the to follow. most toxins, both artificial and naturally produced. My boy dipping his toe. He said, I'm, I'm taking a nice little dip in here. I like those. My boy got a little lean drip. Okay. As well as radiation and caustic or acidic chemical exposure. Oils produced beneath its fur and skin flame makes 4715 resistant to temperatures higher than 1600 degrees Celsius. Bro, he really be cooling though. Like the depictions of him, it just really look like he he a cool guy. Appreciate the follow. Really, he really just look like he a cool cat. Like he just chilling. Besides the herpes on his lips, my guy is chilling, dude. And below negative 150 degrees Celsius. The most reliable method of control appears Appreciate to the be follow. lacrimatory agent. A chemical that will cause severe eye and respiratory pain and capsicanoids, which it appears to have no particular resistance to. <laughs> In addition to... <laughs> they said use some roach spray on him. That's all you need. <laughs> some raid. Some raid. Okay. CP4715's considerable natural... Hey, what's good, everybody? I just came to the chat. Appreciate the follows. Make sure you follow if you're not followed already. And subs get priority. So if you have a request or anything, make sure you sub to the Twitch. And yeah. Your ability it can regrow significant amounts of lost tissue, including limbs that have been lost. Bro, that's disgusting, encounters. dude. Repair and regeneration of injuries and trauma will always spread outwards from the central nervous system and will take longer to repair the more significant it is. To date, nothing is proven capable of causing damage to 4715's cranium, vertebral column, or central nervous system. And nothing is proven capable of neutralizing its capacity for regeneration. Back his tail. Okay. The existence of 4715 was confirmed by Foundation following an event that happened in October of 1916. But there is evidence suggesting its origin dates back <laughs> it's significantly <boo>. further in <laughs> history. Recovered documents originating from various groups of interest, historical artifacts, and arch. You said they. You said you said he. They making a, a film. Word, yo, link me or like when it comes out, hit me up on Twitter or something. Definitely, I want to be the first one on that. That's what's up, bro. That, that's hard. That's hard. Like, you talking about, like, actual film, like, on Netflix? Because, I mean, that this is the cool thing about SCP. It's it's creative common, so no matter what you do, nobody can ever copyright you for this shit, or you can take them to court, because none, nothing about SCPs can be claimed. Archaeological finds suggest that SCP-4715 has existed in its present form for most of human history. In 1981... A large wood carving originating from the mid 14th century Prussia was sent to the SCP Foundation. It depicts 16 mounted Teutonic Knights engaging in a cavalry charge against 4715. This is one of the earliest known depictions of 4715's size altering effect known. If the scale of this depiction is correct, it depicts 4715 being 9.4 meters in height while engaging 16 Damn. mounted knights which is consistent with the size change displayed in modern observations. An engraving translated to read, Banishing of the Beast from the Earth is present beneath the image. Okay, so they fight and fight. In five, a series of proto-human cave paintings were discovered in the Ardèche region of France. These paintings consist of imagery well, like of 4715 engaging in attack. I mean, I guess, bro, that could really be anything with some horns. I don't know. It's upon humanoid figures with many examples being surrounded by skulls and other symbolic imagery. Radiocarbon dating places the, the Templars were seeing word, word, word. approximately 32 to 30,000 years before present. And while an archaeological team was researching on 4715, a journal that seems to be the depiction of 4715 by a Chinese farmer was found and was then confiscated by the Foundation. 
the journal has sketches and descriptions about a monster emerging from a large pile of battlefield casualties and proceeding to move at speed in Why the have six of eyes? Machine. The following is a translated passage from the journal. After the village was massacred and the soldiers moved on, there were many bodies still clinging to earthly possessions that could be of great aid to my family. Waiting for the cover of nightfall, the smell was even worse than usual for a massacred town. And it seemed in the light of the setting sun that the sea of corpses stretched as far as the eye could see. Then, from the tallest of the piles of the dead came a monster. It burst forth from the dead like a great fish from the sea. Okay. And its bellow was so evil. No, sir. Look, 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 look. Let me tell you where you already fucked up, my guy. Let me tell you where you fucked up, all right? Listen, what you praying for? Nigga, that is your god right there. Fuck, fuck is you about to do? Nigga, you better run. Nigga, you hit. I'm hit. All right, bro. What do you, what you, what you, what? Okay. From a godly creature. It shook the blood from its midnight hair and fled with haste to Nanjing. Okay. This discovery of LOI 517 Sigma has proven invaluable in not only broadening the knowledge of SCP-4715, but also in providing many of the current containment procedures implemented today. If it wasn't for the knowledge obtained from this site, SCP Foundation would likely still be trying to contain 4715 with automated gunfire and having to withstand containment breaches every few years. LOI 517 Sigma is a cave discovered by civilians in 2009, but was then further investigated by the Foundation. It was described as some kind of shiny bunker or Egyptian Colosseum in some caves, lit up by shiny plants. Okay. Investigation revealed that this structure was a long abandoned and dormant entrance to an organic complex. This complex has been determined to have served as the containment of 4715. There are minimal signs of damage to any of the structures, and the organic devices within are alive and powered, but inactive. Okay. A substructure at the bottom of the complex has been confirmed as once housing SCP-4715 and is constructed from indestructible plant material, inscribed mm, okay. with various designs bearing similarity to those found in various occult manuscripts and cave paintings. The structure features multiple redundant doors and linked security features, all of which are inactive. Rooms throughout the rest of the complex appear to be focused on providing research, administrative, and residential functionality, and show no sign of habitation. Throughout the complex, there are right, multiple boy. images and descriptions of SCP-4715, depicting it engaging numerous instances of the original owners of LOI-517 Sigma and other unidentified entities in combat, in a manner largely consistent with modern observation though some depictions show 4715 significantly larger than any previously recorded size. It is unknown if this is due to the artistic interpretations being inaccurate or if 4715 can indeed reach even larger sizes. Beyond those pertaining to containment, there are two notable sources of documentation regarding 4715 that may shed some light on the possible origin of it. The first document was found carved above the access ports on the structure comprising the containment chamber, formerly housing 4715. The text is well appreciate the follow. but sections have been rendered incomprehensible by large scratches obscuring the writing. It is hypothesized that it was carved as a failsafe in the event of power outage. And found in another document, a text was painted onto a wall within the complex beside a large organic mechanism with various interfaces. And it, quote, the day the flowers bloomed was long ago now. Our shining cities are gone. The surviving children turned to beast of the earth. We are gone now. The children of the sun have turned our weapons upon themselves, and they sleep in the night. They know not of the demon born from war, and cast aside any tool that could turn aside its fury. Endless rotation ends now. May the hairless usurpers suffer at its hands and pay for their transgression. To any child of the night who finds my message, Know that I have committed this crime to avenge our demise. Oh, that's hard. I just peep. Okay, so this go back. Okay, so this is where SCP start to intertwine, and this is where it makes sense. That's my boy SCP-1000. That's Bigfoot. That's the civilization that we single-handedly took out ourselves. And um, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, so they were the original civilization. They're the one who had the original containment procedure. They're the ones who, who had that laboratory. I'm like, how did they have that much technology back in the day? But I forgot all about the Bigfoot civilization. Okay, for sure. I see you, SCP. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Okay.
You will not forgive me. It is. Did, it, did a gorilla just commit suicide? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Committed hold on. this crime to avenge our demise. You will not forgive me. It is. You a chimpanzee? If you don't go out there and throw ones with him, the fuck are you talking about? With all that advanced te advanced technology SCP 1000s had, if you don't go out there and blast him, pre assume that this text controlled the security or power of the complex. Along with this message, the skeleton of an SCP-1000 instance What I tell ya, cozy understanding, that's big brain right there Was discovered resting on the floor of the room with a hole in its skull If you want to know more about SCP-1000 Oh, you see, there go the link, I like that, I like that plug right there, rubber That's a good plug, that's a good plug right there Cause, cause if I'm, if I'm a, if I'm a random, I'm like, dang, I wanna know all about these gorillas the Fuck is you talking about? Also known as Children of the Night Click here for the video. Analysis and radiocarbon dating of the skull suggest that the individual killed itself 34 to 33,000 years before present. But for now, SCP-471 has been contained Loud in the containment complex with an area 4715. What he need to do is lick his lips. Strong area ass tongue. 4715 is an underground compound. <laughs> ah, he spelled tournament. All right. Meters below sea level at an undisclosed location within Canada's Stikine region. Chosen for both its distance from the nearest city and proximity to LOL 517 Sigma. Stocks of materials required for Procedure 4715 Waning Moon are to be maintained on site. Procedure 4715 Waning Moon is a ritual that must be performed on the full moon of each month and requires the use of 1D class personnel, hereby referred to as the Shaman, 60 kilograms of red meat, okay. hand woven wicker basket, and human blood. The shaman must be anointed with human blood and will then place the meat within the wicker basket. Okay. No other personnel may carry out this task. Okay. The shaman will proceed to enter the containment chamber holding 4715 and place. Bro, I did not copy and paste tournament. I typed it on my phone with no autocorrect. Why? What's up? Yo, I'm telling you, we're gonna have a Discord spelling bee for all you that like to say that I can't spell, alright? The meat on the ground before 4715. They will then prostrate themselves before the basket and recite the phrase, This we offer for your continued torpor, flesh of your time, blood of my blood. The shaman must remain prostrate and continue reciting the phrase until SCP-4715 has consumed the entirety of the meat. After consuming the meat, 4715 may He said, I like ya and I want ya. Either we doing this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> or may not kill and consume the shaman. But doing so does not indicate a failure of the procedure. If the shaman survive, they are to retrieve the basket and exit the containment chamber. Damn, speedy. Failure to perform procedure 4715, waning moon, will result in an exponential increase in aggression from SCP-4715. To date, most of these attempts have been successful. The continued use of surviving shamans has been approved, along with reward, punitive, and incentive programs among the D-Class population held on site, in an effort to ensure the continued success of Procedure 4715 Waning Moon. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces of fan art. A big thank you to all- Stop flexing your fan arts on me, bro. I get it, dude.